Hey, I thought it was about time that I showed you how quickly and easily you can get started making levels for the old school original gangster Doom games. Because not only was Doom the first game to get me into level design way back in the 90s, it's also still a great option for today in terms of making fully playable levels really quickly for one of the greatest shooters of all time. So this video is going to show you how you can set up the editor, make a tiny level and jump in and play it in less than 5 minutes. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so first of all, you obviously need to own Doom 1 or 2. And once you've got that installed, there are four more steps in this video. We're going to install a level editor called Ultimate Doom Builder. We're going to install GZ Doom, which is an updated, modded version of Doom. Then there's a couple of things I need to show you about setting the editor up so that we can make a little level and test it. So let's find and download those two things we need. Ultimate Doom Builder and GZ Doom. If you Google Ultimate Doom Builder, it points you to this thread on the ZDoom forums. And there's a download link somewhere. Um, here we go. I'm going to download the 64-bit version. And now I'm Googling GZ Doom download. Um, that first link is fine. Hmm. So I can't remember the difference between GZ Doom and Z Doom, but we want GZ. Okay, so now we've got these two downloads. Doom Builder needs to be installed, whereas GZ Doom is just a zip file that you extract. And as far as I know, you can put these wherever you like, so just do whatever works for you. But once you've got that sorted, we can open up the editor, which looks like this. Go to New Map, and we see these options. I'm going to change the game configuration to the second one. And crucially, we need to add a resource. And this is where we refer to the WAD file from the original Doom, um, which is where all the content of the game is stored. In my case, I own this on Steam, so I'm going to go to my Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, Doom 2, and Base. And then I'm going to point it at Doom2.wad. So now we should be set up to make a new level that uses the Doom 2 resources, like the level textures and the enemies and all that kind of thing. Next up, we're actually going to start making a level, or a little room. And before we start, the two fundamental things you need to know about Doom levels is that they're mostly made from sectors, which are the areas of the level, and things which we put inside those sectors. So I'm going to select sectors mode and then right click on the map to place the first corner or vertex of the room. And then I left click to continue placing corners to build the rest of the, oh, how do I scroll down? To build the rest of the room. So I'm going to just place these last two corners. And there we've got a room. Okay, now I'm switching to things mode and I'm going to place a thing here. It defaults to a player one start, which is what I want, so I'll press OK. And now I'm going to place some enemies. So I'll place another one here, but we'll change it to monsters, uh, place a pinky demon. Next I'll place another one, maybe a sergeant. And what's the other one? The basic one. Oh, an, an imp as well. We'll place an imp. Where is that? There we go. So we've got a few monsters, and we'll throw in a weapon as well. We'll add a shotgun here, um, where is it, super shotgun, and finally we'll add some ammo as well, ammunition, box of shells, there we go, and that's it, that's all we're going to do for now, so I'll save this, uh, I think you can basically save it anywhere for now, I'm going to put it in my Doom 2 folder, base, maps, I'll leave the name as Mappo one and now there's one more thing that we have to do before we can test it, because if we press F9 to test this now, this happens. It says, your test program is not set for the current game configuration. Would you like to set it up now? And we need to do this. So we press yes. And this is where the GZ Doom thing kicks in. We need to press this green plus and then find the folder that we unzipped GZ Doom to earlier and then open the GZ Doom executable. And that's it. We should be ready to go now. So if I press F9 again to test, it should build the level and we should jump into the game and check out how gloriously quick this is. Yeah, there we go. All right, this is the level we made. The L-shaped room, the shotgun and the ammo, the enemies conveniently facing away from us. We can pick this up and blast them away. And there we go. We went from downloading the editors and setting things up to making a tiny little map and jumping in and testing it, all in less than 5 minutes. That's probably less time than you spent doom scrolling on your phone this morning. So I hope this shows how awesomely quick you can get up and running with this editor and this game. 
and sometime in the next couple of months I hope to make another video where you can watch me make an entire Doom level from start to finish. Until then, cheers for watching, uh, maybe share this around if you know anyone who might be into making Doom levels, and see you in the next video. Cheers.